curricula and the ability of transgender athletes to compete are on the line tonight as we await key votes in the General Assembly. News aides Garrett Burquist joining us now live from the State House, where it's a make it or break it situation for those and other bills, Garrett. Yeah, Phil, this is a crucial day for the school curriculum bill more than anything. The bill is up for amendments in the Senate, and today is the deadline for the Senate to approve any amendments to House bills. This is the bill that would limit how teachers approach issues of race and social justice in the classroom. Among other things, they could not teach that members of one particular race or political ideology are inherently responsible for past injustices committed by members of the same group. Democrats have proposed a number of amendments, including a requirement to give black history, including slavery, the same priority in the classroom as learning about the Holocaust, which is currently required by state law. We're also watching what the Senate does with a bill to prohibit transgender girls from joining girls K-12 through sports teams. That bill is up for a final vote. The Senate has not made any changes to it, so it would go to the governor's desk if it passes. The Senate also is scheduled to vote on a bill to ban employer COVID-19 vaccine mandates. They have a little more time to act on the final votes. The deadline for those is tomorrow. So we're going to continue to monitor the uh, situation in the Senate throughout the evening. Live at the State House, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Garrett,